Hey everyone, I'm Rachel and I have hamsters and I'm here to tell you what's going on with them this week. So today I'm actually gonna do a quick like half cage clean and maybe slight rearrangement for one of my foster hamsters, Laverne. And I know I haven't talked about Laverne very much, so I figured this would be a good way to tell you about her and also then you can see her cage and how she's doing and all that good stuff. So Laverne I got about a month ago. Um, I volunteered to be a foster for a local hamster rescue. So they gave me two sister dwarf hamsters. Um, they came together and I did house them together for a little while and then it seemed like they were fighting a little bit too much for comfort so I decided to separate them. And now they're in separate bin cages. Laverne is in a 200 quart bin cage and Shirley, the other one, so Laverne and Shirley, is in a 100 quart bin cage. And I have a separate bin cage where I use, I use to play with them. So I'm gonna use that bin cage as her, kind of she can hang out in there while I clean her real cage. And um, so far, Laverne has been really fun and delightful. They're both very different personalities, Laverne and Shirley. Laverne is a little bit, she's a little bit nippy, she will bite, but she also really seems to inter to enjoy interaction. She'll come up and look at us, and, and it seems like she wants to come out. We have um, leather gloves that we use with her, and she'll crawl right in it and just sit there. She likes to be held and just sit in your hand, although she will sometimes nibble on your hand, so. You know, we still use the gloves, but um, she's a lot of fun and she's really curious and cute. And um, I think since I separated her from Shirley, she really came out of her shell and seemed to become a personality of her own. So I think it's been a good, a good experience for her so far. So since I put her in this bin cage when I first got her, I have not touched anything because I really wanted to be respectful of her space and make sure she felt comfortable and not threatened at all. But it has been a little while and I do want to make sure that she's clean and um, and I also feel like the arrangement of some things in her cage are not optimal. I'd really like to put her wheel up on a smooth surface so it doesn't get slowed down by any, uh, by any paper bedding or anything. So I'm going to do that and I'm also going to give her a bigger sand bath uh, so she can have a little more fun in there. I recently realized with my robos that they really appreciate having a hide in their sand bath and that actually encourages them, it seems to me, that to go to the bathroom in their sand bath which then keeps the rest of their cage a little cleaner. So I have a hide for her that I'm going to put in her sand bath and also give her a bigger sand bath so hopefully that encourages some more clean behavior if she isn't already and um, will help me to continue to keep her cage clean without having to go into her nest and bothering her which I'm sure she doesn't love. So that's about it so I'm gonna put you on time lapse or maybe I'll just speed up the video so you can see what's going on and uh, then you can get the gist. Actually I'm gonna give you a quick tour first. One second. Cage. Okay so this is Laverne's cage and uh, you can see it's not the most exciting thing. She's got a tiny sand bath there but I bought some more sand so I'm gonna make that bigger and she has two tubes leading into a pile of fluff there, which she sometimes spends time in there. It seems like primarily she spends time in her wine box converted multi-chamber hide. Uh, I have a few chew toys for her. She mostly uses the whimsy. This wheel, the Silent Runner, seems to work pretty well for her, although she also does well on the other nine inch, eight to nine inch wheels that I have. So I just switch them out as I clean them. She seems to like playing around in this egg cart carton, so I just left that for her. And the water bottle seems to work for her, although she also does use a bowl, so I just kind of go with whatever feels more convenient in that moment. And then, so the way I set this up is I have a box full of my cleaning supplies here, a few different sifters for sand. This is to sift the sand into, and then there's my little dustpan and there's a brush underneath it. I also have another box that I've taped the edges up so no sand gets out. And I use this to take stuff from the cage, put it there, and then that way I can clean and I don't have to put it on the carpet and get everything gross. Um, and over here is her play bin. I actually use this for both Shirley and Laverne since they came together and uh, I'm not worried about them sharing any germs. Um, it's pretty simple, some digging dirt this tube they really like going in and out of, so it's kind of elaborate there. And sometimes they hang out in that little yellow portion and eat snacks. 
but it gives them a place to go so that we can clean their cage and also just an additional thing to see and explore. So I do think this play bin has been very handy. And over here, I have the Zacro acrylic silent wheel that I'm gonna put together for her, um, for her clean wheel. And then there is the clear tray I'm gonna use for her sand this time around. These are the leather gloves we use when handling her. And this is just like a woven basket I got from Target for maybe $5. And it's really handy. I find that if I am holding her in the leather glove, I can hold her over this. Sometimes she likes to crawl around in it, but that way I have something uh, she can sort of explore with my hand. And uh, it's a little easier since she is a little bit nippy if I just have the gloves, she's still, <laughs> she'll find skin and find a way to taste it. So it's a little easier to use this. And she seems to like going in it. So it gives us something additional to do with her. And then I just have a little paper bag for trash. So that's it.
Okay, so we're all set here. I replaced her Silent Runner with this 8.7 inch Zacro acrylic wheel. I gave her her KT tubes back, but I took off those endings to them just to make sure she doesn't chew on them. A great moss, I shook them off, but that's the same moss and same little chew toys there. I gave her some scatter food. And I replaced her sandbox with this just paper box. This is um, a box I got a Night Angel multi-chamber hide in. And so it's not the exterior box, it's the interior box. So I don't think it has any chemicals or anything on it. And then I filled that with Repti sand, an old jar, a lava rock, water bottle, this thing. I don't even know if they like it, but whatever, it's there. And then this bridge to get in and out of her sand pit. So we're all ready to bring her in. She's ready. Any place? 